What's up, comic fam, comic fans? That is right, this is the last call. This is Detective Cup's look into the comic books coming out this Wednesday on the 5th. And then you do have a little DC coming out on the 4th. So let's get right into these comics that you're going to be getting very soon, right after this. Okay, you know the deal. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so let's look at the books. Let's start with those spec books first. Let's get into those. Number one on our list, Walesville number one by Bad Idea Comics. All right, let's, uh, let's just talk about it right over the back. Cover price, $9.99. I don't think this is gonna blow up like ENIAC or anything like that, or tankers, but uh, it will probably end up selling for more than cover. So whether you're looking to flip or you just wanna grab one of these before it explodes, I recommend grabbing Walesville. This is Matt Kent. Matt Kent is an excellent writer. He's doing Berserker, he's doing Fear Case. He's done a lot of other stuff. He is a very good writer. And so this is 72 pages for $9.99 of Walesville. All right. And there you go. Here's a little synopsis. If you, you want to read that, go ahead and pause it. All right. Boom. Let's get into the rest of the spec books this week. Big week, guys. All right. Let's just go with the big one. Star Wars. War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. We are getting into War of the Bounty Hunters. And this is, it's a comic event. It's Boba Fett. It's a lot of bounty hunters. There are a lot of people attached to this. Mostly because there are a ton of covers. So we'll take a quick look at the other covers right here. Here's a pretty dope one. John, Tyler, Christopher, with his black Boba Fett. That is, that is nice. What else do we got? There are a ton of covers out there. Some of these are store exclusives. Let's see if I scroll over them. So you got the cover B. You got another cover B. I don't know why these are all labeled cover Bs. That's a variant A with no uh, no uh, picture to it. Clayton Crane variant A. Here you got the one in 50 black armor Boba Fett. I mean, this, this series will probably, probably sell pretty well. I won't say it'll sell out, but it'll probably sell out really quickly if your store doesn't carry a lot of covers. And here's just a few more looks. There's, as you can see, some variants out there, some store exclusives. A lot of them look pretty similar, but let's just scroll through real quick or else we're gonna waste 20 minutes on these covers. There's the in-hook. Lee variant. All right, that's pretty dope. All right, let's get into the rest of the books. But if you don't know why that's a spec book, guys, it's Star Wars, it's Bounty Hunter, and it is Boba Fett. All right, next, Batman Fortnite 0 point number two. I don't have to tell you that number one sold out super quick. This one will also have a code. That is what a lot of people are after, especially those people who don't have shops near them and where this book sold out online because this book pretty much is gone online. So grab this if you can, if you're looking for that code or if you're looking for a flip, go ahead, feel free, grab zero point number two, Batman Fortnite. All right. Last but not least, we got Batman 108, the first full appearance of Miracle Molly. 
So if this is what you've been waiting for, it is here. Miracle Molly is in the house. Another new character from James Tinian the fourth. Here are some covers for this. There are a lot of covers for this one. Anytime a new Batman character comes out, there seems to be a ton of covers. So there you go. That is, again, Batman 108, Miracle Molly. All right, now let's get into those DC books. All right, so from DC, we got that Batman 108 that we just were talking about in the speculation. That is the first appearance of Miracle Molly. Then you see you got Swamp Thing, Suicide Squad, Crimson Syndicate. You've got Green Lantern. You got the Batman Second Son number two. You got that Batman Fortnite zero point number two, which is also a spec book. You got Batman number four with Man Bat. Man Bat versus Batman number four, or Man Bat number four. I think I said Batman number four before. And we've got Wonder Woman, Sensational Wonder Woman number three, with one of those cell phone photo covers that people seem to go goo goo for. All right, so that's DC. Let's swing on over to what's coming out in the rest of the comic world all right so like we usually do we're going to start off with image and here you see some of the newer books deep beyond number four of 12 is coming out i really like this story uh though it seems to be going a little slow i do like it we'll see where it goes from here but i do love me some Merca and dolfo so i have some faith in her that she'll come up with a solid story with beautiful artwork done by her artist, who is uh, Andrea Brocardo. And this is uh, Merc Randolfo with David Goy writing it. And this is the end of the first arc, apparently. It's a 12 issue mini series that's broken up, it looks like, into three parts. All right. And if we keep going, Die comes back, number 16, with this beautiful Stephanie Hahn cover. She also does the interior. So I'm excited about that. I will be grabbing Die, number 16. It's been on hiatus for a while. Let's take a look at that B cover. That's also pretty dope. All right. And that is Alberto Veranda. Good job, Alberto. Firepower number 11 is out this week. I love Firepower. I think Chris Samney is an awesome artist. And Robert Kirkman is doing a bang up job writing this the story the good asian has a lot of spec behind it a lot of talk a lot of heat let's not call it spec let's call it heat so i think a lot of people are looking forward to this book all right so hey if you want to take a chance on it go ahead noctera number three is out and you have a noctera number two second print i'm enjoying noctera i think when scott snyder is left alone to you know do his own thing create his own world he does a masterful job and so here he is doing his own thing writing his own story and that is awesome it's a good book guys pick it up silver coin number one has a second print I've heard nothing but good things about that book and the walking dead deluxe is out again this week with four more covers not a bad book i really love it in color it's pretty interesting definitely worth look all right we're at dark horse what are we getting this week from dark horse you guys can get whatever you want from dark horse i'm getting fear case number four four this is the finale of fear case i like it and i'm pretty sure it will come back again it'll probably be like one of those detective stories where every season the the detectives or whoever's chasing the case changes but this is a met kent vehicle right here we talked about whalers a little bit earlier so here you go these covers have been pretty cool these black covers if this ever amounts to anything those covers i think are going to be worth a lot because it, it's 
hella hard to keep those those covers pristine. All yeah, right, we're gonna keep going. Oh, Jenny Zero number one comes out. I don't know why they have this image coming soon because Jenny Zero already came out. But that was the era print, the print era copy. So they're just re-releasing it. So they do have the actual cover for that. All right, we're in IDW. Star Wars High Republic Adventures number four. That's pretty much the big book coming out of IDW this week. That is probably the book you want to grab. They always have really cool covers. And these are, these uh, air more on the side of, of the kitties. So all people can pick them up. All right, we're in Marvel Comics this week. Got a lot of stuff. Amazing Spider-Man number 65 is out this week. Hey, every week this is almost a top seller. So even though people complain about Amazing Spider-Man, it's still selling books. It's still good. America Chavez number three of five is out this week. Not a bad book. If you like America Chavez, go ahead and check it out. You got Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number one. Second printing. And then you have Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number three of four out this week. This cover. Let's check this one out. What do we think? It's different. I'll give you that much. Do I like it? Not sure yet. All right. We're gonna keep the ball rolling. Daredevil number 30 poster coming to stores this week. All right, and then for you X-Men fans, we have Hellions number 11, Heroes Reborn, big series coming out this week. Number one of seven, that's out. There's a ton of books I think tied into that. So, whew, what is this? Did you see this? It's like Wonder Woman looking. Ha. But anyway, that is uh, what did that? Art Germ. That is Art Germ doing his his thing there. All right. And here you see some more covers for Heroes Reborn. You got one of those action figure covers coming out for Hyperion. Let's keep it moving, keep it rolling. A lot of Heroes Reborn covers. All right, Mortal Hulk number 46. Let's keep it up. Number 45 was interesting. That one flew off the shelves. 46 hopes to keep the momentum going. All right, we're gonna keep rolling here. Marauders number 20. I like Marauders. Looks like Storm is uh, preparing to uh, to leave the Marauders. That was kind of part of the storyline, but there is the Hellfire Gala coming up. That's kind of cross into a lot of the books, from what I understand. It should be a fun story. Um, Star, Bor uh, Star Wars. Star Wars Bounty Hunters has a couple of cuts. You got a director's cut coming out the same week as the regular cut. And there are a ton of covers. You just pick whichever one you want. Steve McNiven has a Crimson variant. Has a couple of other variants, I think. Or maybe that's the only other variant. But you got that. You got the Alpha. You got the Action Figure variant. You got the uh, Laniel Francis Yu cover with uh, Boba Fett in his best superhero pose. So that's pretty cool. All right. Got some Strange Academy for you Strange Academy lovers out there. Thanos Quest Marvel Tales number one is out. Whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. All right. We're at Dynamite. And here we go with the Kazillion Dynamite covers and James Bond. Ooh, there's some Rainbow Bright in there. All right. There's some Red Sonia, Sacred Six, Vampirella, Sonyaverse, all of it. All right. Boom Studios. There's a lot of stuff. Got Eve. They got a Mirka and Dolfo Eve cover. I like Mirka and Dolfo. I might be biased. All right, Layla Star gets a second printing of the number one. Christian Ward. I think that's a pretty fun cover. That looks dope to me. And that was actually a really good read, guys. I loved Layla Star. All right, you got Mighty Morphin. 
paperback volume one for you uh, mighty morphin fans out there you also got we only find them when they're dead volume one for you uh aloe ewing fans all right wind number six comes out i've heard nothing but good things about wind so definitely if you have the time and i would i would invest in reading that all right and here are the rest baby teeth number 17 is coming out i believe this is the last issue in that comic right and then here are the rest of the books let's see what else will we be picking up this week cue the music Drop the beat. Alright, so we're gonna just keep scrolling here. See if there's anything that we want. I've heard about this book right here, Punch Punchline and Vaud Villains number one. This might be an interesting read if you can find it from hero tomorrow comics but it looks like fun let's read a little synopsis drain hayes is a heavyweight boxer who was kidnapped by a bizarre troop of scoundrels calling themselves the vaudevillians then transformed into the super powered murderous clown punchline punchline is about to throw down with the main superhero from the hero tomorrow comics universe apama in a series that turns on a dime from hard a comedy to supernatural all right cool if you see it maybe grab it here is b cover okay all right i see this i see you all right got some rick and morty you know some manga out there what else we got we live number five gets a second printing that was a big book guys sold out uh jumped up in price i think an a cover now is probably going for anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks for first printing so there you go and then there is uh which isn't mentioned here but we'll go back over here guys in case you missed it because you skipped the spec books we have Walesville from bad idea comics all right, folks, that's all I got. Don't forget to like the video. Go ahead and subscribe. Let's start in that order. Let's subscribe. Let's hit that notification bell. Hit the like button if you like the content. Go ahead and share this and leave a comment down below. All right? I want to talk to y'all. All right? So that's what I got. Go out there. Get those comics, comic fans. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. Peace.